All right, listen, this is the most impressive piece of technology I have ever seen. I have a video I need to show you. It's three minutes and 23 seconds long. I need the next three minutes and 23 seconds of your life. And by the end of it, I'm sure you will be as shocked as I am. We can talk about it more after, but let's watch the video. Can a machine truly create art? This question has sparked a fiery debate as artificial intelligence finds its footing in the world of art. It's a clash of the old and the new, the traditional and the avant-garde. The heart of the controversy lies in the originality and creativity of AI-generated art. Can a code, an algorithm, a piece of software really conjure up a piece of art that resonates with the human spirit? But let's delve deeper and examine the negatives of AI art generators. Artificial intelligence, a marvel of modern technology. But what happens when it dips its virtual brush into the world of art? When AI starts creating art, originality and the human touch, the very essence of art may find themselves at risk. Unlike humans, AI lacks the ability to draw inspiration from personal experiences or emotions. AI-generated art, therefore, might be technically impressive, but it often lacks the substance and depth found in human-created art. There's also the disconcerting prospect of AI replacing human artists. If machines start producing art en masse, it could potentially devalue the work of human artists, both monetarily and intrinsically. Moreover, art is a reflection of our culture, our history, our shared human experience. If AI begins to dominate the art space, we may lose the cultural nuances that make art so diverse and rich in meaning. However, it's not all doom and gloom in the realm of AI and art. There's a silver lining to this seemingly dark cloud. AI art generators are not just the monsters under our beds, they're tools waiting to be wielded. Imagine an artist's brush that learns from each stroke and evolves with every canvas. That's what AI brings to the table. It's a creative partner, one that can help us unlock new levels of creativity and productivity. AI doesn't tire, doesn't need breaks. It can tirelessly produce art in quantities that would be humanly impossible. And it's not just about quantity. AI can venture into artistic territories that humans may not be capable of. It can create art in styles, techniques and patterns that are beyond human comprehension. It's a gateway to an entirely new dimension of art. This isn't to say that AI will replace human artists, but it's a powerful tool that can help artists push their boundaries and explore uncharted creative territories. As we've seen, AI art generators are not merely the villains they're often made out to be. Now here's a twist in our tale. Everything you've experienced in this video, the script, the voiceover, were created by an artificial intelligence. Even the visuals were chosen by me, and I don't even really exist. This highlights the extensive potential of AI in content creation and other creative fields. It's not just about generating art, but it's about creating narratives, telling stories and conveying ideas. So next time you marvel at a piece of art, ask yourself, was this the creation of man or machine? Or perhaps was it a fusion of both? Could the boundaries between human and machine creativity be becoming indistinct? And if that's the case, what does this imply for the future of art? Whoa. Now, I don't know if you were expecting that based on what I said at the beginning of the video. That entire thing was created by AI. It's a new feature by NVIDIO, I-N-V-I-D-E-O. They've dabbled with some AI stuff in the past, mainly just helping you make short form videos. But now you're able to create that. And when you see how easy it was to create that, you'll understand why I'm having such a hard time talking about it. Like, I really try not to be dramatic on this channel, but I've struggled with making this video for a few days now. It, it's a little too heavy for me to process, and I really want to know how you all feel about it. I swear, I'm not putting on a show. This video, that service, it really makes me uncomfortable. And you might see me as the AI guy, but something's not right. When you go to NVIDIA AI, you'll be given the chance to fill out an outline. And the crazy thing is just how little you actually need to say. First, you'll tell it how long you want it to be, and then you provide what you want the content to be about. Then you can give it optional creative directions, like being funny or just having a specific tone. I'm sure you could get it to do something like speak in rhymes or riddles. 
it's pretty powerful and I wouldn't be surprised for it to be able to match whatever you can think of. You get to select the feel of the background music. I like serious, stern, but cinematic. That has seemed to work really well. You can choose the gender of the voice and where the voice comes from. American, Californian, Southern, Midwestern, Transatlantic, New Yorker, Young British, Northern English, Middle Age British, Old Husky British, Indian English, Young Indian, and Australian. And then here it is. Look at what's on your screen. That entire prompt, 473 characters, created that 3 minute and 23 second video. And look what I said. Look at how little direction I gave it. Create a three minute YouTube video about the good and bad of artificial intelligence art generators. Make the first half address the negatives and the second half address the positives. That's all I said. And the AI did the rest, came up with those arguments from both sides, accurate arguments logical arguments within a time frame, constrained arguments, and it did a good job. I said, reveal that you are an AI at the end. Reveal that an AI wrote the script, provided the voice and visuals. I instructed it to use simple phrasing and be concise. Make the background music serious, stern, but cinematic. And as far as settings goes, use a male old husky British voice. Now on that note, I don't know if you could type in and describe any voice you could think of like alien gobbledygook. I don't think you can do that. I think you have to choose from that list, but I could be wrong. Maybe we can test that after, but I feel like we have to oof, feel like I have to unpack this service a little more. It is too good. That little direction created, I'd say a pretty high quality video, like a 7.6 out of 10. And maybe I should just mention this now. It does that very quickly. If that took an AI 24 hours to make, I think people would, you know, take a step back and, and really start to wonder what they could accomplish in the next day. What will we see tomorrow? But it takes the AI like less than 10 minutes to make the video. That includes the script, the voice, pulling in the visuals, and combining it as a package. With the headings, the appropriate titles. Again, I'm trying not to be dramatic. I try not to be dramatic on this channel. But it is so clear that we will get replaced. I've definitely always known that being a content creator or a YouTuber is probably a finite life. It's not going to last forever. And I've been quite empathetic with other people losing their jobs to technology. I don't think it's a good thing, even if it seems inevitable. It is so clear that I will get replaced. What would you need me for when this thing can do that so much faster? Now the question is, am I just going to be the person who uses this type of service to create the videos I want created at a much faster rate? I don't know. But that video, the writing is great. It's concise, like I asked it to be. But the voice is amazing as well. And I guess I've talked about this previously that I understood for a long time that AI was great at making assets and then maybe it was up to a human to combine those assets. Maybe you use something like Eleven Labs to make the voice and you combine that with imagery from Mid Journey and maybe you add motion to that through DID or After Effects. But I think it's becoming clear that there will be AIs that can do everything at once. The inflection, the cadence, the pace of that little story in that three minute video. The voice, the quality of that voiceover is actually, it might be the most impressive part. What do you think? Which, which part of that video shocked you the most to find out it was completely automated in a very fast time frame? And the fact that it required such little input, I didn't need to specify any arguments. I just said which point of view I wanted it to have at which time in the video. And it elaborated on them. You give it a fence, you give it a park and it can operate off leash. That's probably the most disturbing part of the whole thing. If it needed more human input, I think people would be on board with it. But the fact that it requires so little, I don't think it can be overstated. And the visuals it included, the imagery, that was probably the worst part of the video, but it was still good and it's only gonna get better. That part where it's like, imagine the watercolor picture, it came up with that and it put that at the appropriate time. It's not just like, how did it know how to do that? It's much more troubling than that. It's not just good at the individual things. It's good at putting them together. And I feel like this has been a science fiction dream for a few years now that we'll be able to make 
full movies with just a small request, like wanting to see yourself in a blockbuster. It sounded pretty science fiction-y, but this service, NVIDIA AI, is such clear evidence that we are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to create whatever movie we want with just a few keywords, and that movie is going to be really, really good. It's probably going to be better than what humans can make. Because humans are prone to errors, there are a lot of steps along the path that we can make mistakes. It does not appear like AI is going to stumble along the path at the same rate that we do. I don't have much more to say about this. If you're interested in learning how I did this and want to see more of a tutorial or a breakdown or just explore what else is possible, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to just vent and express your emotions about what you just saw and maybe where this is all going, I'd also love to hear from you. Please share your thoughts with me so we can navigate this weird time together. I hope you're doing well. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Peace.